Welcome to iLecture Online. Our next video deals with finding the 33rd percentile for IQ scores. And of course, it doesn't have to be IQ scores, it could be anything, but just the principle. How do we find the X percentile of something? So in this case, we have a random distribution, a normal distribution curve. And this represents IQs in the general population. And notice that the average is 100, the standard de deviation is 10. And we're trying to find the 33rd percentile for IQ scores. What that essentially means is the value for X of the IQ scores, such that 33% of the area falls to the left of that point underneath that distribution curve. And so that's how we're going to solve it. We're going to solve it by realizing that 33% of the area must be to the left of this point, which means that 67% of the area must be to the right. So this represents 67% of the area, but the real value we're interested in is this area right here. Since half is on this side, the other half is on this side, 50 minus 33, so we go 50% minus 33%, that means that this area here is 17%. And that's the key to solving this problem. Because what we're going to do now is finding the Z value, or really, do we need to find the Z value? Yes, we do. Because we need to find the Z value for 17%. So Z equals question mark for area equals 17%. So, what we're going to do here is go back to our table, find the 17% in the table, and notice, ah, I find something that's very, very close for an area of, for 0 0.170003003, that corresponds to a Z factor equal to 0 0.41234. 0.44. All right. And of course, since it's to the left of the mean, that's going to be a negative 0 0.44. All right. So we'll just put in the negative sign here to indicate that we realize that's on the left side of the mean. So now what we're going to do is we're going to find the x value. So we need to solve this equation for x. So z times sigma equals x minus the mean. And then Moving the mean across, we have zero, z times sigma plus the mean equals x, or x equals z times sigma plus the mean. All right. In this case, z is going to be a negative 0 0.44. Sigma is 10, and the mean is 100. So this is equal to negative 4.4 plus 100, or that's equal to uh, 95.6. X equals 95.6. In other words, go. that means that at the 33rd percentile for IQ scores, you can expect the value of IQ between 95 and 96. That's what we mean. That means that there's 33% of the population that has an IQ lower than this, and 67% of the population that has an IQ larger than that. And so again, notice, there's some very practical applications to the normal distribution curve, and when we're dealing with the z-score, it makes it easy to find particular interesting uh, elements of that curve or that normal distribution, such as, such as the percentile of any value for any sort of IQ score, and that is how it's done. Okay.